In this video, we're going to have a look at automations that we can do on Capsule. So we can have automations on the sales pipeline and also automations on the projects area. So if we go to the sales pipeline and I'm going to add a new opportunity and I'm going to call it test, test 10. <laughs> and I'm going to create it for citrus lemon. And I'm going to add Lucy Lemon onto the opportunity. And it's on the sales pipeline. It's coming in at the initial inquiry milestone. Expected value, let's just pop it in at 275. Expected close date, always put an expected close date into your, onto your opportunities because the graphs will pick up the expected close date uh, to create the graph themselves. And we have an important here field here, so we're just going to pop in where the opportunity came from. And I'm going to save that. Now, because an automation has been set up on this system, then a track has automatically been added for us. So we tick off the tasks as we do them, and then a next, the next track is added automatically, and the milestone was automatically changed as well, and the green bar moves along. So we're going to take off the next ones and, and see that happen again. So we're in meeting call, which is milestone two, and we're going to tick off the tasks, which would obviously happen over a couple of days. So we're going to tick those off, and then the next track is automatically added, and the milestone is automatically changed. And then we go through the proposal track. So we tick off that part of the sales process. We do the activities we need to do, and then we get to the part that uh, the opportunity has been verbally accepted. So we tick those off. Then T's and C's are sent out. We wait for them to come back. So the opportunity is sitting in the T's and C's sent milestone. The T's and C's are returned. We can then manually, or we can automate this bit if we want, but I like to have this as a manual part of it. We click on that it's been one, and then we have set up the automation to automatically create a project for us when the uh, opportunity is marked as one. So Capsule has automatically created a project and we can have a, an automation on the project so that the track that is related to the first stage of the project will automatically kick in. So what this means is that um, Capsule supports us keeping on top of where our opportunities are within the milestones and where our the work that we're delivering is within our projects. We can also add emails into this so that emails can be automatically sent out when we um, finish a track, for example. So we can have some nice templated emails and they, they could be automatically sent out by the system as we move the opportunity along the sales process or as we move the project along the project delivery process. So we set up automations by going to workflow automations in the ribbon at the top and we uh, this is the one that's already been set up. So we go to the sales process uh, pipeline and we uh, pop on the um, milestones. So we go to initial inquiry, we add the track, which is milestone one, initial inquiry. It's a really good idea to name the tracks. It's very similar or exactly the same as the milestones because then you know which track relates to which milestone. And the overall sales process is broken down into the different uh, tasks and activities that you need to do for each of the milestones to move the opportunity along. And then this, uh, this works uh, beautifully. So we add the track and then we say, what is the action that this, when this track is completed? And in this instance, we are changing the milestone to the next milestone. We could also close the opportunity if we wanted to, um, and then when that's all done, we this is where we add, send an email. We could also assign it to a different owner or a team. Uh, we could create a link project at this point if we wanted to. But to my mind, it makes sense to go from one milestone to the next, adding the track, maybe popping an email in all the way to the end of the sales process. And then when you get to the one uh, part that we create a linked project and the project name will be the same as the opportunity. We can automatically put in a close date if we want to, a certain number of days after trigger. We pop it onto the right project board. Uh, we, we might have a couple of project boards there if you're on the growth plan. And we put it in probably at the first stage. 
and then we can add another action if we want to. But then what we would do is we'd make sure we turn the automation on and we go back to automations and then we could add a brand new automation for the projects area. So I hope you have found, have found that useful. Do subscribe to my channel if you have and give the video a like, that would be great. I do have other videos that can help you make uh, the most of Capsule. So do have a look and do let me know if you have any questions.